friends and greetings for the day. We are getting started with a brand new tutorials on ISTQB Advanced Test Manager. Thank you so much for contributing to your polls to let us know that what is that you're looking for the next and of course based on your suggestions we have opted the test manager certification this time which was much awaited from a lot of people from long ago. So yes, we are getting started with our test manager certification and this is the very first tutorial of our session today talking about the ISTQB advanced level test manager. For your kind information, uh, this is about test manager certification. So of course, uh, you will be having a lot of scenario based examples to understand. So we will have slightly a different approach to be followed for this series of tutorials. Before that, let's get started with a quick introduction of myself. There are a lot of people who might be new to this. So yes, I'm a ISTQB and HP certified with a trainer with 12 plus years of experience in training and delivery. Also an author now. I've written a public uh, book on ISTQB Foundation, which is available online on Amazon and uh, Flipkart across the globe. And uh, also a certified global testing consultant who is involved in process improvement and at the same time implementing a lot of tools and activities across different organizations. So far, I have delivered more than 500 plus trainings uh, across to 5,000 plus participants in 100 plus corporate organizations across 26 plus countries. So that really makes me very proud and very happy to share that experience and knowledge with all of you through my learnings and experience across the different organizations. Well, coming up to introduction to ISTQB, of course, uh, you have been through a lot of foundation certifications, so there's no point talking about ISTQB anymore. But of course, yes, ISTQB is a body uh, which certifies individuals and professionals about their testing practices and knowledge. And of course, this time we are talking about a role-based certification, which is test manager. Coming to the certifications, of course, you know the tree already because you're standing at a test manager position right now. Then, of course, you already know what ISTQB is all about. But yes, would like to still share that because maybe a lot of people are not so familiar. You would have taken your foundation long ago. So yeah, it is a quick reminder to that because a lot of new certification have been added as on today. This image is as on today and we have all the certification available. The green arrow on certain certification represent that we already have tutorials on our channel for this. So if you are here and you are looking forward to any of the certification, please look forward to that as a part of our channel and we have tutorials for all these of them. So look forward to that, except the foundation because you are already certified for that. And of course, the validity of the advanced level certification is now made for a lifetime. So of course, your certification is available and lifetime valid throughout. So you just have to write your examination once for all. And once you're certified, you're certified forever. Let's look at something else. You know, what about this examination about the test manager certification? We have the prerequisite as ISTQB foundation. You must be ISTQB foundation certified. And of course, uh, you should remember the skills and knowledge from the foundation. It is very important because not everything will be taught to you at basics because we expect you to recall that knowledge from the foundation level in order to extend further and understand the advanced level concepts. Exam type will be objective and multiple choice, where multiple choice, I mean to say that it is for the scenario based and you may have multiple selection also. So most of the questions, they will ask you to select more than two options or sometimes three options as well. So not all the questions will have only one answer as right. You will have five or six options provided to each question and you might be asked to select two or three options as right. In that case, uh, critically, it becomes important for you to be right for all the three options because if you go wrong with even one option out of three, then you are considered to be as wrong. So to be a part of your certification examination, you must be uh, correct in all the aspects. So if you have six options and they ask you to select three of them, then make sure that all three options must be correct in order to get a pass score. Otherwise, you won't be getting any points for that question. That's the very strict rule because being a manager, you should be familiar with everything in complete details. Total number of questions coming in this examination will be 65, consisting of total uh, 115 marks. Duration provided to you will be 180. And uh, for countries, those who are uh, non-English speaking countries, so will have additional 25% of time that is uh, 
to 25 minutes will be provided to them. Schedule, you can obviously organize your examination by contacting your country specific member boards, or you can even go for a proctor based examination. Location and venue, definitely due to this pandemic right now, you don't have a location or venue option right now, but yeah, probably in future, when everything is stable, you will also find uh, you know, a center-based examination to sit and relax and then write the examination at their comfort. So you can also find that with your country-specific member board to you know, organize the same for you. Passing criteria remains the same. No matter what examination you're taking in ISTQB, you have 65% as a criteria for passing, which comes to 75 marks out of 115, the total marks to pass the examination. And as usual, even if you are just 74, you are considered to be fail and you have to reattempt. Even if you just get 675, you are passed with the examination forever. So make sure that you uh, study well, not struggle well, study well to understand the concepts. But here, the theory doesn't work. Unlike foundation, you don't have to be, you know, by harding things. Here, it's all about logic and understanding. You have to be a test manager in order to pass this examination behave like a test manager, understand concepts like a test manager, and understand everything from the point of learning and, of course, making decisions as a test manager to pass this examination. And I'm here to help you. Don't worry about that. The next part is, of course, the K-levels. Of course, the K-level does not really matter when it comes to the test manager certification because they ask you a lot of uh, scenario-based real-time questions. So we do not have any K1-level questions in this examination, but we do have K2 a little bit of K2 questions, more of K3 and K4. K4, that means analyze, which means that you will be having a scenario provided to you, a real-time scenario, and you need to just analyze the scenario in order to determine what is that you will do at that point of time. So decision-making skills will be very important and uh, understanding a scenario and coming out with an alternative and outcomes, you will be required to do that. Last but not the least, of course, giving you a quick overview of what exactly the syllabus consists of. As a part of chapter one, we will be talking about the test process, which will again bring back that basic understanding from the foundation of the test process. And chapter two, we'll talk about the test management, that what exactly overall management is from the estimation, entry and exit criteria, and a lot many other factors. Chapter three, we'll talk about the reviews. Of course, we do have certain management reviews and audits happening at the manager level. So you will see some new things coming up in the advanced level. Defect management, of course, from a manager point of view, how exactly defects must be managed, how it can be classified, how it can be used for reporting in order to determine the outcomes. Chapter five is improving the test process where we'll be talking about CMMI, TMMI, CTP Next, and STEP, and a lot of other business models which helps you to improvise your testing capability and maturity model. Chapter six is about the test tool and automation. As usual, we will be talking about how to select a tool and implement a tool within the organization. And at the same time, of course, how implementation of automation can happen and how to make decisions about automating something within your project and organization. Last but not the least, we are talking about the chapter seven, which is equally responsibility of a manager to have people skills. That how do you create a team? How do you uh, form a team for any particular project, how do you identify people's skills and definitely what a team composition should consist of at any point of time in order to add value to your overall executions of the project. Well, that's all from this particular tutorial team. Right tomorrow, we'll be getting started with our very first tutorial in order to start beginning with the test manager learnings and getting prepared for that. So stay tuned for this. And in case you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to that because we are getting a lot of a lot of interesting things coming up next as advanced level certification from the manager point of view. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them there well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning. See you soon.